is problem two on practice exam three in chapter one from the book Problem Solving Guide for Differential and Integral Calculus. So in a calculus class, you might get a problem that says, take the derivative of this function. Take the derivative of y with respect to x. And what that means is it's the linear part of delta y over delta x. It's the slope of the line at any value of x. So, What's the derivative of y with respect to x when y is that? What we want to do is you want to change y. Change x and see how y responds. And we're going to do this slowly so we understand what's going on. We're not going to follow any rules for taking derivatives. We're going to understand what we're doing. So we have this expression. This is the normal equation. This is how x and y are related. It's a map that says what y is when you plug in any x. So now we're going to change, we're going to wander away. We're going to change x by delta x. So now we're going to substitute in x plus delta x. And now the y is going to be different. And we're going to call that y plus delta y. Delta y is the amount that y changed. So doing this, it's the same normal equation. It's this normal equation. The only thing we did was we substituted in x plus delta x for x. We changed x by a little bit, and we want to know how y responds. So it's y plus delta y, and these are the x plus delta x. We substituted that in for x. And now we can solve. We can get delta y over y. So multiplying out that right-hand side, we foiled this right here, put the 7, distributed the 7 in there, and we got this. This is just the right-hand side. Now we can subtract y. We know what y is. It's 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. So here's y. 3x squared minus 7x plus 4. The difference is this part. This, this, and that. So now we have that. The linear part of the right-hand side is the parts with the delta x in them. The smaller delta x gets, the smaller this term gets relative to the other two. So for the linear part, we can drop this x delta x squared term. There's the linear part. And now we can solve for delta y, or delta y over delta x just by dividing by delta x. By getting rid of the delta x by dividing by it, we get 6x minus 7. And if you know how to take derivatives, then you know this is the right answer. For delta y over delta x, that's the linear part. So let's check it to make sure we understand. That's the delta y over delta x, the ratio of a change in y to a change in x. 6x minus 7. All right. So let's pick an x and a small delta x to see if this is true because we dropped that delta x squared term. So x equals 3, delta x is 0 0.001. So now we're going to substitute 3 into the normal equation. If we do that, we get 9 minus 21 plus 4. Ooh, not 9. 27 minus 21, that's 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. If we stick in 3, we get 10. If we stick in 3.001, we're going to get a little bit different answer. It's 10.0011. So the difference is 0 0.0011. And our difference expression is 6x minus 7. So we can check if this is true. Delta y, the change in y is 0 0.0011. We got that because we had a 10.0011 and a 10 for y. The change in x was 0 0.001. And if we stick in 3 for x, we get 11. And 0 0.0011 divided by 0 0.001 is 11. So we're happy. So let's plot this function. What's the slope at x equals 3? Who knows what the slope is at x equals 3? This is a fundamental concept in differential calculus.
x equals 3. Look at that slope right there. Slope of that line should be delta y over delta x. Think about it. 